Kia ora whanau, ka mihi nui, kia koe anō. Um, I wanted to look address this a topic of routine, because when a baby's born, everyone's obsessed with telling you to put them into a routine. Basically, I would say most of that's crap. Um, a routine requires you to have a frontal cortex to understand. Babies don't understand that. A routine is designed for the parent's benefit. It's nice for the parent to know they're going to get eight hours sleep. It's nice for the parent to think, I don't have to feed the baby for another three hours. Your baby doesn't really care about routine. Your baby cares about being responded to. So I know that for a hundred years here, we said, oh, it was really good for the baby to feed them every four hours and put them into a routine. And um, it's not what the research suggests for us. Babies form their own routine. And you following the baby's routine, there's certainly a body of research to show that that supports a baby, but there simply isn't the research to show there are any positive outcomes by you imposing a routine on the baby early on. In fact, the positive outcomes are associated with the opposite of that, responsiveness. We've already talked about that in one of the other clips, but responding to your baby when they're hungry, responding to your baby when they're upset and helping them to calm down, these are the things that the literature associates with positive outcomes, not putting them into a routine, which means saying, no, you're not being fed for another two hours, leave you crying, no, you've got to put yourself to sleep, leave them screaming to sleep. The routine is only in the research beneficial for the parent, 100%, it's um, not that beneficial for the child. It doesn't mean it's going to be damaging. I put my children into routine. Sometimes you do that for the practicalities of life and to work in with a, a working life and, and lots of other children. So I'm not saying you've wrecked your child by putting them into a routine. I'm simply saying the routine was for your benefit and for my benefit, it wasn't for the child's benefit. Very clearly in the research, all the benefits in terms of getting good outcomes, every good outcome we can measure, are associated with the baby being treated responsibly in the first 18 months. So like I've said earlier, spoiling and indulging them. The routine is not any evidence that it's going to do any good for the baby in the first 18 months of life. Come here, Nui.